need for transparency is affecting the supply chain because it's requiring new tools to keep track of all their pieces, but I would say most of it is incremental. So right now we're in this place where we're just trying to retrofit the old supply chain with a little bit of transparency. That's still a broken model and we're not getting to the transparency that people have. The need for transparency is providing much more innovation in supply chain because there's a lot of uncertainty and we bring certainty into supply chains through the use of DNA technology. The need for transparency is very important in the supply chain as more retailers and brands and the supply chain need to have sustainability certifications and goals. That is really driving the level of transparency that I see today. Consumers are more aware of what's going on. Honesty has now become a requirement, not a nice to have. As we become a more global connected economy, being comfortable with transparency is something that consumers expect from the brand, so it, it remains valuable. Today's market rewards innovative retailers and brands. Certainly not the consumer, the brand. Today's companies fall around the grandma spectrum of understanding technology. Those companies fall on the level of pavement. Neanderthal plus. Most companies fall somewhere in the middle between the pavement and the Gen Z. I think a lot of it has to do with education and connecting them with teams that can bridge that gap around language. New technologies require new vocabulary, require demos, so getting them involved early versus handing it down once it's being implemented is really critical to adoption of these things. I think it has to come top down within an organization that there has to be the innovation and the drive for change happening. And as soon as that happens from leadership within the company, then the rest of the company follows suit. Uh, you're now dismantling the machine and trying to start a new machine. And that's not something they are particularly good at. So you have to create this culture where you can fail, where this group can, uh, can grow without influence, and that just requires great leadership. AI. Blockchain. AI. AI. Drones. Robots. Drones. Robots. Because I think first you have to look at the production side and the robots coming on a production when you look at the supply chain. So drones are great and that's product that's already produced, but let's get the product right first and then and that's using, you know, through a lot of robotic technology. DNA. 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 Or DNA. 3D printing and marketing. And 3D printing. Marketing. Virtual assistants. Virtual assistants. Virtual assistants. Chatbots. Mindsets. 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 So this consumer really understands sincerity. So a company that has a culture that is sustainable regardless of what the standards are, it's going to have a larger customer loyalty. The mandates may be below what the consumer requires. So you have to have that culture of sustainability to succeed, I think. The greatest innovation over the next five to ten years has to do with sustainability. In the next five to ten years, smart textiles will really change the industry. The biggest innovation um, will be in DNA technology because of the ability to tag fibers from the source and follow it all the way to the finished glue. Oh, bar none. Biggest one. Easy. Biggest failure in uh, new technology advancements, robots. Kinetic harvesting from wearable products, being able to power things based off of body movement. That is still far off. Heat. Heat. Disco. Heat. Heat. Take forward. Heat. Heat. Take forward. Heat. Discard. Discard. Dumb. Heap. Heap. Ditch it. Discard. Retail's great. It's going to be here forever. Heap. Discard. Discard. Embrace. Heap. Ditch it. Heap. Discard. Embrace. Discard. Absolutely keep it. Heap. Discard. Okay.